What's up guys? Uh, so yesterday I unloaded this. I'll throw that video in right here. I'm gonna do some hickabilly unloading here. Well, that was fun. And after that amusing adventure, my uh, phone died. So I was unable to uh, film the rest of what I was tinkering on here. But uh, So the guy told me it was a fuel pump, and this is an old rusty-ass truck. And I could have pulled the tank, I could have pulled the box, or, you know, you can just do some easy stuff and yank the bed liner out, cut yourself an access hole. Um... I'm going to put some tabs on here, maybe some rivet nuts so this sets in here and screws back down. But uh, what we found out is the fuel pump here had a pinhole in the return. It also was rusted away there. And taking this out, I uh, we got this fitting here stuck in there. So... I'm going to cut these lines, get some barb fittings to go into these plastic lines, and then just use a rubber hose and hose clamp. But uh, what I also found out, slightly amusing to me, actually, is uh, even with the fuel leak, um, it still probably would have ran if uh, the tank had any gas in it at all. <laughs> um, there's that. I don't, you can't see in there, but there's, there's, there's nothing. It's bone dry. Which is cool because I can reach in there now, soak up the little bit that's left and get the crud out of there before I put a new pump in there. Um, the snap ring that holds these in, or not snap ring, but this thing, uh, yeah, and uh, this was angry too. Um, so we're going to get new ones of that. Um, this ring on here is a little beat up, so I'm hoping it'll lock, and if it doesn't, this is plastic. I'll just drill a couple pilot holes in the fuel pump and use a tiny, a couple little self tappers. But uh, shouldn't be too bad. I'll put the liner in there once I'm done. Um, other than that, unfortunately, we're still kind of at a standstill here with it being the fact that I don't get paid till Tuesday. But uh, I went to O'Reilly's and. Uh, I got a receipt for all the parts that I want. I want a fuel pump, a solenoid, plugs, uh, some lightning hoses, uh, oil change, a couple other things, a headlight bulb. Um, that's about it there. Um, my plan here with this little bit of rust is I'm gonna I'm gonna redneck fix it. I'm gonna spray it full of great stuff. That spray foam. Uh, then I'm going to either fiberglass it or just spray it but from this body line down 
I'm gonna bedline the whole truck. I figure it's the easiest way to fix it and it should look decent once it's done. The rest of it, Evan really wants to buff and see how much paint he can get back. I'm gonna give him a shot. If he makes it look good, I'll keep it. If not, I might spray bomb the whole thing, either black or white. Um, but moving away from this, just a little update on the drift truck. I went and picked up a motor for my friend Hoover. He's a really good dude. So uh, I'll throw them a couple pictures in here right now. And then I'll take you over to my other buddies and I'll show you the motor and give you a little bit more update on the drift truck. So we'll be back in a little bit here. this guy all right <clears throat> so there's a Mazda truck. Um, not sure if I got showed you guys a little mock-up here don't mind the intake that's off of 3800 but uh she's in there and uh got some motor mounts here They, uh, they'll work out pretty good. I kind of set them in there. They need a little bit of modifying, but it doesn't everything. And uh, like I said, I got headers on the way. I got some more parts. And here's what we got for a motor. This is a 2004-53 width. Um, see if we can see here. Oh, oh, oh. 706 heads. I was kind of hunting for those, so I'm glad I got those. I uh, got the PCM and the wiring harness. Unfortunately, this wiring harness is a green blue plug, not a red blue plug, which means that the throttle body is drive by wire. So I will have to purchase a new wiring harness and throttle body. Not too big a deal. Kind of saves anyway, because then I don't need to tear this wiring harness apart and make it a standalone myself. Um, I'm going to send the PCM in to have it reflashed once everything's together so that it runs. Um, it's going to be in stock form, so it'll be pretty pretty straightforward, pretty simple. Um, once I get it in there and all that stuff and it runs and drives and does stuff, I will uh, most likely throw a cam in it, get a little bit of lope, um, maybe a little bit more power out of her. but. I gotta get this other truck going as a decent daily and then I'll get more parts acquired but I got stuff coming and there's gonna be content here so she's still doing all right um, I guess that's about it for today there's not really much going on just a short little update let everybody uh, on the channel know what's going on and uh, Tuesday we'll get some stuff done on the other truck maybe get that going down the road and see what's up um, but yeah that's it for now just a little update and we'll see you guys in the next video deuces